Hey guys, I am a sloppy, sweaty mess. Still trying to catch my breath. I literally just finished my workout. I tried my routine up just a slight different today and before working out, I made Kayla's breakfast, but it's actually easier to start my workout on time and when she's ready for breakfast, take a quick breather, make it and get back to it. Because I ended up starting nine minutes late where making her breakfast takes all of like two minutes. So, good morning, Sandy. So, while I finish my hydration drink, but just so you guys can see how much I worked out, I didn't pee my pants, I swear. I just, I worked out really hard. My shirt is drenched in sweat. Whew, I burned about 300 calories. Um, just in that one workout. Today was arms, abs, and ass. So, I worked it all out. Um, good morning, guys. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Liz. Woo. Hey, Val. So, I want to talk to you guys about something that I read in my book. Um, it was day two on my book because I'm not reading it every single day. Um, on the weekends, I listen to personal development more than reading it. So, um, for me, I loved, loved, loved that I can't even call it a chapter. Well, let's just call it that day because it's not really a chapter. It literally takes two minutes to read it. And what I like about my new routine is I'm making my shake and, and, and getting my superfood in and doing all of that. And then um, when I sit down and read before my workout. So that mindset is in my head. Um, and what I just read is stuck in my brain. And then I'm pretty much thinking about it during my workout and thinking about how to implement it and things like that. So I'm really liking getting that little daily mantra read before my workout. And then I can dig into a little bit deeper of personal development, whether it be with a video or a personal development training for work or you know just reading into a, my other book of Girl, Wash Your Face. So um, today it talked about moving with your heart and letting your heart guide you. And it says that I will be very, bleh, bleh, Obviously, I'm still tongue-tied from that crazy workout. It says, I will be brave and cura courageous, courageous with my heart. And it talks about to live the happy life and the life you were meant to live, you have to let your heart guide you. And I feel like the heart and the gut kind of go hand in hand because a lot of times we'll do things that like, in our gut it just doesn't feel right it doesn't feel like something we should be doing or whatnot and I really really feel that you know that's also our heart trying to guide us hey Debbie good morning and it's trying to lead us in the right path and in the right direction and um, oh I love that name new me um, so it's really really important to you know, let, let our hearts guide us in that direction. Because when everybody says, oh, live a happy life, be you, you know, do you, do what you're supposed to do, live the life you're supposed to live. When people are saying things like that, sometimes people are like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna make me happy. Sometimes when we don't really know what's gonna make us happy, the best and easiest thing to do is to just, is to go by this, let this guide. Like my happy is the beach. And I really, I, I really enjoy running because it clears my mind. It feels good, like I'm pumped up. So yesterday, um, I had the idea because I want to go to the beach every Sunday, or at least every weekend, but I pick Sundays because it's just a down day. You know, there's no workout. Um, it's my rest day with my program. So Sundays is a nice day to go to the beach and, and relax and get my zen. Well, I know my kids aren't gonna wanna go sit on the beach for two hours while I sunbathe and take in the waves and you know, just kinda like spiritually release everything and get, you know, cause Sundays is like for me, it's getting myself ready for the next week. So it's kinda like get, get my zen going. I know my kids aren't gonna wanna do that, which is gonna make it less of a happy place for me because they don't really wanna be there. So, um, Alex and I wanted to do a run. I had signed up for that pixie, 5k um, or I'm gonna get like a pixie medal so um, I which by the way I am in first place I don't know how many people I ran against but I'm in first place as of last night when I went to bed for my pace and my time um, so I told him I was like why don't we do this so that way I can have my beach time why don't me and you go down to the beach and run 
and then we'll come home we'll get the kids up and stuff like that and then we'll have our day here you and Kayla can go work I'll get my food prep done and then me and Kayla can lay out and you could relax and have your TV time and Ryan could do what he needs to do and that's what we did and ended up being a really great day and then we went and walked the path at the airport I was letting this lead me I knew I wanted to be on the beach but I also wanted to get a run in so I figured why not bring my run to the beach I did not run on the sand that's way too difficult <laughs> way too hard I end up hurting myself sometimes I twist my ankle when I do that so I didn't want any injuries so we ran you know on the concrete cement asphalt whatever is there the walkway um, and we did a 5k and then we went down to the sand to do our cool down walk and take some pictures and for me to just sit there and I love looking at the Sun reflecting over the water and I took some pictures which I shared with you guys um, and things like that like that was me letting my heart lead me in what I wanted to do to find happiness and to feel that Zen feel. And that's what today's day meant to me when I read it. Letting your heart lead you. Do the things you like. Like, I love tattoos. I think they're beautiful. I think they're a great way for people to put things that are important in their life, like these are my kids, my fur babies, Alex's initial, um, you know, Tinkerbell, you guys know that this is my love, Tinkerbell and fitness together. Like, everything has a meaning to me. And I love it. But I stopped getting them because I was afraid of judgment. I used to have my nose pierced. I loved it. I took it out because I was afraid of judgment because I became a mom. That was me not letting my heart lead me. That was me letting other people's thoughts about me lead me. And that's not the way to live life. The way to live life is to let your heart lead you so you can have that happiness in your life. You can have that fulfillment. You don't want to be old and gray sitting on a rocking chair saying, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done more than this. You don't want that. You don't want that. You want no regrets, no I wish I did, none of that. So I have a call to action for you today and then I'm going to go make sure Ryan is out of bed because it is seven minutes to eight and we leave here at about 8.30, 8.45. Thank God he doesn't take long to get ready. But today, I want you. Good morning, Amy. As you can see, I just finished working out. I look like I feed my parents. Um, today, I want you to lead with your heart. Let your heart guide you in the happy places in life. Let your heart guide you on things that you wanna to do today. If something is pulling on your heartstrings, like when I shared a part of my story that no one has ever heard before, which I actually will share it from my personal page to my like page so you guys can see it as well. But if you're not following my personal page, make sure you go there and follow, add me as a friend. I cleaned out a little bit of my friends list so that way there was more room for more people to be added. Um, go over there, it's just Tanya Griss, G-R-I-S-S, um, and watch that. But what I want is for you guys to lead with your heart today. Let it guide you. Let the heartstrings pull and just let it guide you in the direction you need to go for you to find that happiness because there's no reason for you to not be happy. So I'm going to go wake him up. I'm going to go stretch it out because I finished my workout. I did all three rounds, 10 reps of each exercise, three rounds. Like I said, I started a little bit late, but I wanted to come live and I needed to come in and wake him up. So now I'm going to go stretch it out really good while he's getting dressed and then I'm ready to really start this day. So I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Have a marvelous Monday. Start your week and start your day fantastic. Bye.